this is what I'm being exposed to non-stop here. My forehead is being cooked. I've never seen anything like that before. They are literally just all out for maximum destruction. So peak amplitude seems to be coming from there. So here, beam is down. This seems to be right pointing at my head, the maximum of the beam pointing at my forehead. I've never seen anything like that. You can see a drop off in that direction. So I can you see. And the center of the beam seems to be somewhere here. There, sorry. Can you see that beam is pointing right at me? It's dropping off, going up. That's the maximum. Dropping off in that direction. This beam is aimed right at my forehead here because I'm basically looking at it like that. And it's just being fired flat out. So look, here it's maximum, roughly there. Dropping off, going up. Maximum. Dropping off, going down. Maximum here. Dropping off rapidly in that direction. Maximum here. Dropping off in this direction. And I swear I've never heard anything like that before. This is now the center of the beam. Here. And I have to be really careful about, can you see, there's the maximum in head height, roughly here. And it's just being fired flat out from maximum lobotomy. Here, I'm trying to uh, trace the beam. It's flat out. No, I'm not. I've never seen anything like that before. Look at that. So again, let me trace the beam. Dropping off, going up. Increasing to maximum, six there. Dropping off, going down. Dropping off. Maximum here. And this is being fired non-stop. These are non-stop pulses being fired into my forehead. Dropping off that way. Maximum there. I've never seen something like this before. And dropping off that way. Now that, I think so the beam seems to be down here and actually punch through, or maybe it's using back reflections through that gap. It seems to be coming from roughly somewhere there. There. 
Can you see the beam? I'm holding it right into the beam, being fired flat out. So it seems to be somehow using back reflections from there. Um, now let's let's go and find out. Sorry, I have to click on my laptop. And let's investigate where this stuff is coming from. Okay, this is kind of difficult because I could take my laptop and the little device at the same time. Mm. Okay, let's go through. Can you see this? But it seems to be coming. It seems to be coming from somewhere here. So that's essentially buildings south from my house. I just got the center somewhere. Somewhere there. Okay, getting hot. So the tag seems to have been turned off. So, can you see what I mean? The attacks have now been turned off. But my head has been cooked. It is being cooked alive at my workplace. Look, the attacks are now off. The difference between this yellow LED at the bottom at point one and there Saturating at 6 is a factor 60. Can you see? This is me. Sorry, the cable just got stuck with an obstacle. Um, hang on. So, it seems to be being fired. I mean, the angle is hard to tell. But you can tell that it's now a lot less intense than it was. Um, oops, the shielding is just collapsing next to me. Essentially, sorry, so what this is, is the shielding coming down. So you can see my office as it would be normally. Oh, sorry. And, you know. I just cannot sit there and work just in peace because I'm essentially being micro. But look, can you see the difference now? I get up and I walk around and I'm trying to measure it. And when these morons realize I'm actually honing in on them, they switched off the beam. So I'm being shot at through that window, which is why this Faraday meshing is actually silver meshing. This is sold by Aronia, that's why it's hung there. As a Faraday cage, it's not good enough, but I just used it as minimal extra shielding from that direction. But essentially, I'm being shot at from that direction. I'm being shot at from that direction um, through the windows. I mean, look at this, look at these jumps up when I was just there. That's just just hitting the max. Um, and it's because of reasons like that, 
that I'm saying that um, there are several um, beam lines. So I'm just going to walk you back. Sorry about the seasickness. And I can see how my office would be a normal office if I wouldn't have to sit in this stupid cubicle when I talk to you. So let me just get that. Um, so I, like everybody else, would like to have a normal office and just be able to talk to you normally. But I just cannot because essentially I have to sit here and um, already with this shielding so now I actually figured out you saw that the gap um, in the shielding and that's what I mean they use back reflection so 12 layers of aluminium are pretty good but I didn't realize that actually there was a direct way in and the um, the cardboard I'm not sure if you can see the cardboard there is slightly slanted so this morning I put up the shield and you can see that's going that way. So a beam coming from there will, can, get, um, can be reflected back um, to actually hit me. And that's what I noticed. So this morning what they're trying to do is essentially that my, my frontal lobe is essentially being microwaved. I'm trying to just annihilate every higher functions. And when I set up the shielding I didn't realize that there was this gap. At first, I must have knocked it when I, I, I always check when I put it up, but I must have knocked it as I climbed over the chair, trying to come back through this obstacle course here that I have to have in my office. And I noticed that I was recording the videos this morning and my forehead was being cooked. And I could barely hold the thought. I mean, this is a military laser, military weapons technology being used to mutilate women. And the transmitters, as you saw, you can, if, you're, if you're good enough with this, you can actually map out the center of the beam. And this is just measuring 200 megahertz to 8 gigahertz. So I am 100% certain that there will be frequencies outside of this. But I think the point is that it will be a superposition of many frequencies. And this thing even picks up components of that which is why I think it works. But now that the shielding is down, I basically, I can barely, just barely function. I mean, you know, I'm trying to hold this actually up against my um, my head, but it's, now I just feel damaged and cooked. They, so you, you see these pulses and they're essentially just shots into my head. And it's just gradual degradation of my neurological integrity by having this, you know, military um, microwave beams being punched into my skull all the time. So anyway, this is how I was trying to, to actually map out the beam. And, and this is why I'm saying what I'm being shot at. I'm sure they can use satellites as well. But from what I can tell, the beam seemed to be running horizontally, seemed to be using back reflections from shiny surfaces and metal surfaces around me, sometimes if I'm not careful. But they all seem to be fired horizontally. So that's why I'm saying it seems to be mostly... Um, high rises or not even that high rises but taller buildings around me from where they are being fired and I would say from basically from what I felt like the side of my body that got hit in different sort of attacks that 99% of all the attacks are coming from cars from buildings around me and um, when I'm inside the home and the actual uh, attackers must be in rented flats or gang stalker flats in a 200 meter radius about my, around my home. So for the police not to find these people is essentially impossible. For the intelligence agencies not to find these people is impossible. So this is now official proof. Forget the aliens, forget get the satellites. I'm sure the, the really heavy stuff is coming from satellites. But you don't even need satellites. You just need a bunch of degenerate, you know, weaponized morons. And I think the entire point is that I'm being fired at to train up other little, you know, degenerate grunts to actually do the same thing. And it's, you know, they are being taught how to use the equipment. Yeah, keep firing at Dr. Catherine Horton. She, she can't do anything anyway. And the main um, point of this program is actually training these people. And the intelligence agencies are so beyond the rule of law, so beyond sanity as far as the leadership is concerned. They don't care how overt and obvious they make what they are doing to us. I mean, they literally tortured Britta Jacquard to death. You know, there's an entire list of people who they tortured to death over several years. Actually, literally gave them medical complaints that are impossible. And even if every single one of those were a genuine medical complaint, having one person suffer all those really rare medical complaints simultaneously 
or within a couple of years, it is statistically impossible. It can be excluded. The only way it's impossible is if an intelligence agency has given you those diseases. Do you see? So we can use statistics against these, these, these weaponized idiots. I don't know what else to call them. So anyway, this is another evidence video. All those experts, please get on the case. Please have a look and please tell me if I'm, if I'm going in the right direction. This is what I would say based on what I measure. I don't have money for fancy kits, so I'm just using the two you know, pieces of equipment I have. And, and please, please help me because I, um, I'm just absolutely at the end. I really am. And as you could see, this beam was, you know, right when I'm sitting here, was exactly head height. This is why my head was essentially being felt like it's being systematically demolished. Because it is. <sighs> God, sorry, please, please, someone help me. I mean, someone must know someone who knows the police, who knows the, you know, can get through to these, these degenerates here in Switzerland. But this is now Switzerland. This is being done by the Swiss Nazis. The police is in on this. The head of the police is covering this up. The head of the criminal police is covering this up and is covering this up for years. The Staatsanwaltschaft, the Attorney General, is covering this up. All of these people need to be replaced. They're all in on this. This is what it means. So when you submit a complaint to somebody and they don't do anything, you have capture. Clearly, if they don't do anything, they're not doing their job. This means they're captured. And then you just have to find out, are they captured or is their boss captured? Are, are they that stupid or that corrupt? They might be just stupid. There are a lot of idiots. But their boss cannot be stupid because then he shouldn't be the boss. So he must be corrupt. And this is how you step through the organization. And this is how you can just prove deep capture and capture detect capture and prove deep capture and then when you're down to deep capture you know you have to remove these people so the criminal head of the criminal police given that he hasn't done anything here in switzerland you know the, the head of the criminal police of my canton has to be removed because he's in capture you know the german ambassador given that he needs to know about this he must have heard about this because so many other german victims in switzerland exist the fact that he doesn't do anything means it's a rerun of Colonia Dignidad. He's in capture. He needs to be replaced. It's simple as that. You know, there's no, oh, you know, we can keep giving him chances and say, look, you know, here, this is really happening. Really, this is now, here's a public appeal now for you to get going. But if he doesn't get going, it's deep capture. End of story. It's that simple. Systems analysis tells us this is that simple. So anyway, I'm still being mutilated, I'm still being attacked, you know, you now saw the entire thing. I have to put up shielding because just sitting here, I can, it, it feels like, it feels like your head, it's not even being hammered, it's just being slowly demolished. And slowly you get more and more internal damage because that's exactly what's happening to you. Your, your head is being cooked bit by bit. And if you keep watching these videos, you should see me gradually degrade. So when Karen Hooders, the ex-general counsel of the World Bank, was hit by a scale attack, you could see it looked like she just had a stroke. After that, she had difficulty speaking. And that's what's going to happen to me as well, gradually, because these degenerate bastards running the intelligence agencies cannot stop themselves. So this will be live, and a, a, a human torturing to death, human mutilation, human execution, live on YouTube, a world premiere. Here we go. Please help. Please help.